Yeah, but I managed to make the trailer match the truck with the same colours. Yeah, I had a nightmare trying to find a trailer to match my truck paint job. I think this is the best fitting one I can do. Let's do this. Hey, we came up with a library or anything like that, sir. Uh, say that again, sorry, yeah, uh, Bill. Have we came up with like a color scheme or something like that? No, mate, no, I haven't, pal. I don't know if that is the way we want to go, really, Bill. I mean, we're putting that forward as something to think about. Um, you know, sure, but everyone should have the personality, I reckon, eh? Yeah, I was just wondering, that's well. I wasn't too sure, no, last time I was on, you were talking about it, and maybe some type of, like, type of VTC, but maybe not like a VTC, if you know what I mean? Ah, yeah, you, Bill. Ah, yeah, you, mate. Well, you know what will happen, don't you? <laughs> it's like this, it's like, uh... What happens will be, it'll be ending up, oh, you're wearing your skins today, and then people start getting a bit funny about it, so, nah, fucking have what you like, we like, roll like a fucking hairy bike as mate. At the roundabout, take the first... I get you, bud, I get you, 100% right. Exit now. But you know what though, Bill, it does bring up the subject, doesn't it? It brings the subject up, because I bet you there's a few servers out there at the moment. I only frequent these Magpie servers myself. I bet there's some out there now starting to think, oh, VTC, skins and all sorts of stuff. And I see there's a downward spiral, me personally. I kind of agree with Magpie, the main reason I haven't signed to any VTC is because I want to be able to paint the truck how I like, not how they want me to paint it. The VTC that I'm in doesn't care what colour your truck is, so I'm lucky with that. Let me collect my job for one minute. Turn left. Mini Magpie, I watched your video the other day. Oh, yeah, go on. It's very good, so I thought I'd try doing one, but I can't get me editing software to work on it. Yeah, copy that. All I do, pal, is just put OBS on, a stream, I play the game how I like it. If anyone watches it, happy days, and if it works, even better. <laughs> the roundabout, take the second exit. I watched your very first one, I've not got round to watching the second one yet, because I've just been a bit busy with work. Exit now. Well, we had, we had I remember Magpie saying we had a smashing Ready convoy in there, he watched it back like, and it was nice. Turn left. Magpie, if you want me, you know, watch much as I know, like, uh, knows get it going for you. OBS is what you need, and a Twitch account. I even use OBS for the, um, YouTube videos. Disable webcams on the, your stream, so you can actually activate it. Yeah, you can just turn that overlay off. Yeah,
Oh, thank you, mate. It's all what you guys planned, really. It was just sitting back and enjoying the company, really. But the fucking views and the drive was lovely. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. Never mind. I'll find I do it. like a bit of train simulator, but my god mates just aimed to be in the end. That's all it turns out to be. the actual DLC packs thinking I might add more to, more to the experience. It actually didn't. So the rest, I was actually thinking about getting it myself when it first came out. And then I YouTube a couple of bits off it and all. That time our DLCs weren't really out at that point. It was just so short. But what do you think now? I would just recommend it. Exit right. Well, to be honest, Gamer Bill, um, I enjoyed the fact of learning one of my favourite uh, trains, and that was really all wanting my experience was wanting, and I had that, and I felt, and then I went for the next level to see if it, it tickled me, and what I found was I was doing like the same routes, and I thought, hmm, then I was going past like some sort of the same generic uh, station or warehouse and it just got started in the end game I built to get a bit linear for me personally. I uh, yeah, so basically different kinds of cities you were coming into. You sort of felt you'd been there before. Yes, yes, the snobios, some of the snobios were okay to do. But it's the same old, for instance, I'll give you an example. One of the scenarios I gave you is like Piccadilly Lane to Bristol or whatever. Well, you, you stop off at like, you know, one stop and then you go into a scenario where you have to stop off at a couple of bits. But it's really speaking, all it becomes is playing traffic lights. Yeah. For instance, I'm comparing the game a bit to this game. This game in particular, as I'm driving from A to B, I've got to be aware around me of a tanker in front and a car to the left. I found when I was doing the old train, the choo-choo, there was fuck all to worry about, I really fuck all to do. I could go make a cup of tea downstairs, come back, and I'd still be plowing along the same fucking track. Yeah, just distract your mind then, sort of. Just it's very easy to be distracted. Yeah, you can't get distracted this, with this, Charlie. Uh, sorry, gamer, it's just basically you fall on then, and you. See, the reason why I was thinking about getting it was basically going from like London to Glasgow or up to Edinburgh and Furness or something like that there. But when you think about it, you're right. All there's is two grey rail boats in front of you and a load of signal. Yeah, yeah, and that train sim wheel 2 doesn't give you that sort of variety. What they've done is they've picked like the M6 motorway, turned that into like one of the main lines, which is, is factual, I suppose. And then that's all they've used. You haven't got any diversions or crossovers or 
you know, getting ra radio in and saying, I need fucking line such and such changed over. Yeah, it'd be so easy for him to do, like, uh, hazard on the tracks or something like that there. You have to stop now and again or something like, you know, very easy to ride into the game. Yeah, no, mate. No, A to B. That makes two of us, uh, Magpie. What's that plane? That makes three. Fuck it now. I didn't know I fly to Maria. Hey, Charlie, I don't know how to tell you this, but your wheels are going round. Exit right. Nice, mate, nice. Same as my egg, change my scan in there, Doc. I was stopping near enough halfway through every journey, a refill of tanks. So I have an Axe F105. I got the extra tank pin on it, and this thing can go for miles. Exit right. Exit right. Is that the XF-105? Finding new route. Staff, I think I'm talking to uh, Bill. Yeah, the old ship on 105. With the new, uh, with the DAF tuning pack and that, you can make a decent truck. I, I've got one myself. Don't know what it is. It's just I like the old retro trucks at the moment. It'd be good if they actually put the Volvo F12 or F16 back in it. In the game, that is. Well, all my engines have got the Volvo V8. VH, no, FH uh, 750 in it. Speaking of which, how is that Volvo powered Mercedes running? It's running actually quite decent. It does drink fuel, like a lot of fuel. But it does run decent. That's why I stick to standard engines. Well, no, because you want that Hellcat, well, that V8 Hemi. Yeah, only for one certain truck, though. Yeah. 
I'm just trying to catch up with you lot now. But Ghost, that truck will have a 50,000 litre fuel tank as well as a Hemi V8 because I will be drinking fuel. Which truck is it again? The Volvo? Maybe. Might be the Mercedes, you never know. Yeah, it's just like real life, this magpie washing two trucks hard tech without a difference in speed. Yeah, I could put my foot down if I wanted to, like. Yeah, of course, the Hemi engine, I'm thinking of putting it in the uh, 2021 DAF. Ah, uh, well, yeah, all the uh, 2021 uh, Renault T. That will definitely make the Renault go a lot quicker. Definitely. We need to surprise Josh with the Hemi. Either that or the special engine mod which I told you about. Yeah, we definitely need to surprise Josh with that. Yeah, once SCS bring the mods to it, we'll put the special engines in the Volvos and then just ask him for drag race. Hey, Magpie, have you been painting your nails again? <laughs> just a random question that heavy compared to the topic that's going on. Uh, I was painting my fucking nails. Oh, backpipe! What man? Don't me, you didn't see me there. I can't see you, mate. I'm not kidding you, lad. Yeah, heavy, magpie's left hand drive, don't forget. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, what a fucking idiot, eh? Look at him, what a fucking idiot! Then fucking European drivers, man, what are you gonna do with him? Finally got up with his. It's alright, someone's going up in hospital bed soon. I'm perfectly balanced on a, a railing. I was ready to bounce there, boys. What speed is going? 102. What was it, that wee rear car? Just caught me right up as well. I'm surprised that I didn't overturn. Yeah, he caught me up twice and then turned into the side of me. But it didn't actually stop like when they normally have an accident, he just carried on going. Thailand drivers. Catching up, but slowly. Yeah, we're only doing about 45 miles an hour. Magpie's put some red bull in it, thank you, he's gone. Fucking Speaking of magpies, there goes the other one. 
screw. Let me get me good and I'll shoot him down. Exit right. 50 on cruise set. Never mind. I'll find a new route. To be honest, I do like um, how these jobs don't take time when you're asleep, like in Truckers and Peak. So when you come back to it, it's the exact same time you left off as. That's because TMP was a live server like the time never stopped. Bro. Little Magpie, where's your train? Right. And then exit right. Exit right. <laughs> oh, let's find what about the skin? Let's get that fuck out of here then before the chairs be down. Right, I'm off tonight because obviously my game's lagging and that, so I'll see you guys in that vlog well, tomorrow, hopefully. Right. Oh, guys. Uh, can, you, can you just let me know what that mod's called? Except what uh, friends friends on Steam and just. Here's a message as to what it's called, the one for the engines. 750 all engines. Yeah, there's about 10 called that. I mean, like, who's it by? I'll send you the direct link or whatnot, or a screenshot of it, so... Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, spot on, mate. Take it easy. Tomorrow, though.
Watch out, Magpie. Madman in Volvo behind you. Yeah, 10 4, good buddy. Thank you for telling us. I'm missing something going on. I'll see if I've got any jobs going from Flickster to Osnabrück, which, believe it or not, I have. Uh, if you're going into Osnabrück, I've got a job going there uh, from Felixster. Alright, Brent, no problem, mate. Uh, we'll just take our time, set up 50. Uh, we've still got 827 miles on Desto, so. I'm sure we'll catch up. If not, we're going to catch up as on some book me. Anyone need fuel? I'm good. Yeah, I'm all good, mate. Charlie, do you need fuel, mate? I've got just above half a tank. The only reason I said that is because the tank are right next to me. Keep right, and then exit right. Yeah, slow him down and nick his diesel out the back. Exit right. Finding new route. No wonder we keep slowing down. Haven't had an accident yet. No, we're doing good, man. Well, you're heading towards me, I'll join on with you. Top man, Croc, happy days. Exit right. Recomputing. You're telling me Magpie's uh, 30 miles behind where he actually is half the time. Left lane, guys, left lane. There, I thought I was on the wrong side of the road. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Never mind. I'll find a new one. right and then exit right exit right okay let's find a new route keep right
Could have kept me power on Charlotte. Nah, I didn't want to smash into you. Dear Ray, the magpie's already done that. Tell you something, I could really do with a couple of fucking big fat bastard Red Bulls, I. Told you a fucking buy at the shop when you went down. Ah, you're absolutely correct. I should have bought them, and now no, I've made a foolish error. Uber eats them. Hey, there's a takeaway near me, and he owns a shop next door as well. You can actually get stuff like that. Put like and put a cheeseburger order in. Put in the notes. Yeah, I need like bog roll, fucking twenty fags, fucking eighteen of the drinks, and they'll bring it on. I wonder which takeaway that is, ever. Yeah, that is genius. I'd be ordering from them every day. Mate, I order from them in the morning when the takeaway is shut just to get a delivery of fucking energy drinks and six because right. I can't be asked to rock out of bed. Right. Fly, I know there's a nice green van around here that sells fucking weed. Recomputing. Everywhere. Ah, uh, it's not the only one, I know, I know, but it is it is quite quite incredible, isn't it? Do you know what I mean, like? Heather, are you on about that one stop or one of premiers? Nah man, it, it's not in manner. Again, I'm never on mana. I live on mana, but I'm never around it. Ah, uh, you won't know where it is, man. It's a fucking hidden gem. Fucking telling you. I'll tell you what, I'm going down the fucking uh, Rotherham tomorrow. We start a mill up in Rotherham. Rotherham uh, Mill, rank over smell up there, mate. Fucking knocked it down. Gotta say, it's a shit all there. We're going to go, you know, meet a bit of uh, the old funny Danny. <laughs> uh, Mr. Lover Lover! I'll send you a video if you want, Max. I'm just gonna have a quick fag, I'll catch you back up. Carry on as you are. Keep right. Roger that, ninja, sir. Uh, I'll send you a video if you want, Max. Right. Oh, well, no, Lake. Yeah, You're all right, Lake. I'll find a new route. Don't worry. I'll, I'll make it like part of it. But duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Somebody added me on Snapchat, fuck it, the other day. I mean, Snapchat, and I just said, oh, do you fancy me up for a fuck? And I replied back, yeah. I'm like, oh, let's go. Well, you know what, right? Back in the day, I gotta be honest, you had to chase a little bit, man. You had to work a little bit of your fucking charm. Walk in with the old swagger, like, you know? The old glinty fucking, the old glint in the old fucking teeth. <laughs> Not like nowadays, Mike. Now you just send a picture of your cock and that's it, you've got him. Fucking hell, matey. Well, I can start a problem for you. Don't worry, I'm gonna treat you to a fancy meal, man. I'm gonna take her to Mackinac's and stick a candle in the car. Now the back of that limited edition course has seen some action, eh? Do 
Okay, small, you have to end up putting the legs out the windows, lads. <laughs> I when you're going for it in your fucking back of your fucking driver's seat keeps whacking the horn, everyone keeps staring in. Hey. I had the same problem with 2004 Cleo. Sometimes I got to open the sunroof just to stick me head out for fresh air. Catching his back up after taking a wrong turn, I'm doing 90, so I should catch his up in no time. He'll definitely catch Magpie up in no time, he does about 3 mile an hour. I do, yeah! <laughs> Always will! Actually, lately, I've got to be honest though, Brent, mate, I have put my down, put down a little bit too much. Spoils my cheek. Yeah, foot down on the fucking brake. Find out how fast this daft goes. So far we got 93 out of it. Mate, I could pull out a 12 speed daft, but I don't fancy messing about with my settings. I've got my settings, I like them, so I can't be able to change one button just for the gearbox on it. I have the best of both of eight on it, put a semi-automatic in with uh, sequential and then I can knock it out and just go up and down through the gears. Just that with a 12 speed. Like sequential at all, uh, that's just too much man. My staff I have 16 and then I just had a button on my wheel. Put in automatic when I'm cruising and then if I have a hill, take it out of the automatic mode and just do the gears myself. That sounds like an idea and a half. Automatic for when I'm cruising would be handy and then get to a hill and just whack it into a uh, manual. It's not that hard to do, you just need to configure oh, on your gear stick. So my shift right. up would be where fourth gear is, shift down is third, auto would be first, right. and then I have a button on the right hand side of the steering wheel where I can knock it in and out of auto and manual. Alright, that's cushy. Miles per gallon took a dive in that speed run. Um, I went down to 6.9 miles per gallon. Keep right. And then exit right. Exit right. Finding new route. Keep right, and then exit right. <laughs> 